getting all of this removed. Can I be next to your boyfriend and hold his hand? I'll Go. share. Go. Oh! Alright. Oh, the lighting is terrible right now. Alright, so meeting up with a stranger from the internet two decades ago, 20 years ago, people used to say, don't talk to people on the internet. Don't get into cars with strangers. Now you Uber with random people you meet from the internet. Knowing each other for like the past few years, uh, just on Facebook alone, just seeing each other's work and kind of admiring it from afar. But this is actually the first time we're actually hanging out. And then I told him that I was going to film it. Who knows what kind of content we're going to create from that. You know, just you never know. That's why like, I bring my camera everywhere. I document as much as I can. Yeah, you never know. The moments you capture might be a pivotal moment that leads to the next thing. A really dope interview with Trenton. Super pumped every time I do these interviews. It's just kind of a reminder that I should keep doing it. You know, I've content for you guys. I get the satisf satisfaction of hanging out and picking the brain of some of my friends who I think are brilliant. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna be doing is picking up the little man and then getting all of this removed. Well, yeah, since last year, um, I committed to an entire year of just growing out my beard and my hair. You know, it's been over a year. It was more like a thing I wanted to try, something I'd never done before. You know, I'm done with it, I'm over it. I'm ready to cut everything off. I'm probably gonna keep the whole beard action going, but I'm just gonna trim it. I, I like the long hair. I think my hair, my hair is gorgeous. Uh, it's a thick, full head of hair, but it's just maintaining it is a pain in the butt, and especially when I'm dancing and it's all over my face. Boom! New haircut, new style. Like the haircut, buddy? Yeah. It's a lot better than dealing with long hair all over my face, all over the place. Now I can. I don't have to use so much shampoo anymore, or hair ties, or you know, be eating my hair. And it's really nice and refreshing to not have to move my head around to fix my hair. All right. Um, first rehearsal for the Rose Parade. And uh, we're doing makeup auditions right now. Splitting the parades between the parade. splitting the parades. We're splitting the people between which side of the parade they're going to be on. Why you got to be like this? And this is what, this is what happens. Is that what that, that got my hair? So we're learning the we're, we made progress in learning the the choreography. I'm, she's giving me permission to goof off. How, how much choreography left? Um, I think two eight counts plus three eight counts. Divided by two eight counts. Oh, you, you, I was seriously believing you for a second. I was like, what? He might to have the square away. root. <laughs> we, we, we lost the guy. He did, the guy disappeared. One, two, three. So what you gonna do? I'm heading over to Cross Campus in Pasadena. Apparently there's a meetup with some tech startups there, so I figured it'd be a good place to network, potentially get some clients. 
Alright, so this is my friend Justin. We met each other playing basketball, kind of showing me that this meetup that they do every Friday. So if you're ever in Pasadena and you're an entrepreneur and want to connect with other people, make sure you check this out. Well, that was pretty awesome. I haven't been to a meetup or a tech event or a networking event in a while. There's just something about networking and talking to people who are in the same headspace as you and, you know, just meeting new people. It's just exciting. So now, uh, I think it's decent, right? So now I'm uh, meeting up with Vision Paradox client, Unity Era, because they have footage of me freestyling and I really want that footage uh, just for, you know, social media, marketing, and branding purposes. So heading over to the AC right now. So I'm right, meeting up with Alicia right now, one of the co-founders of Unity Era. Shirt right here, the sweater right here. Um, I don't know if she wants my camera right now because she has her home look. So I think she looks fine. I think she looks beautiful. I mean, what do you, what do you guys think? Ready? You ready? Ready? Sure. Yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You got better lighting than me. Oh, cool. Alright, so uh, we're meeting because intense business meeting, very uh, intense details of which I can't really share with you guys. Um, but happy to have, have shared my thoughts of what's going on with their business and helping them out and how we, they can build their brand, their social media stuff. Well, the, the good thing is that uh, we. I'm setting up a proper interview with them so you can get to know them a little bit more. That is one of the things I really want to do with our clients is that we interview them so our team gets to know who the, our client is a little bit more. As well as good content for you guys because then you get to know a little bit more of our client, their, you know, their successes and challenges in, in business and then further builds trust with us as a company. You know, Bill helps build my personal brand when I share this content on YouTube as well so it's like a huge web of how I think about all this content and how we can all use it for to, to really help each other. And hopefully that's making sense, but yeah. So really wish I could have shared some of the parts of those, those conversations, but I'm just gonna have to wait till next time, guys. I also got a scout on location for a shoot this Sunday. Found out that it's closed to the public, so hopefully that isn't true anymore, and it is open to the public, so we'll see, we'll see. Maybe do a Q&A there. That is a gorgeous view of the LA skyline. So this is where I'm potentially going to be filming the upcoming episode for For Your Style, collaborating with seven other dancers. See, We'll see who actually shows up because I haven't fully confirmed anything yet, but I'm pretty excited for the shoot either way because either way it's going to happen with me and a couple other friends. I, I put it out on Instagram, DM me if you're interested. Did not expect that many people to actually respond. And we'll see how it works out. So let's explore. So I'm just trying to look for a shot that hasn't been overused by other dancers or other people in this area. This isn't too bad. Parking lot. Parking lot. Dancers here maybe. Nice skyline shot. So I kind of like it. Add this to the potential shot. We'll see how it looks on Sunday. But this is definitely Definitely a spot. It's a hiking trail. All right. I was not expecting a hiking trail. Just gotta find this bench. So this that particular location looks good. Even this one right behind it. Down to there, there. Go on freestyle here. Maybe move that cone. So. This area is a friggin' filming gold mine. I'm hoping it's not busy on Sunday because it's nice and quiet right now and I really like filming in the quiet. So I'm still looking for that bench for that this one particular location. That's the spot. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully, I'm hoping that it's free this Sunday for us to film. There's also an upstairs that I saw my friend film at the other day. The place is huge. A lot bigger than I thought. Here's the other option. Now the dancer is here somewhere. So either way, as you can see, this this is a pretty sweet spot. This is called Vista Hermosa Park, and it's like it's very free right now. There's no one in the way. Very quiet. It's, well, we'll see how it is in the weekend. But for those of you who are going to start coming here, amazing spot. Let me get a little closer. So you can even get that close. just an amazing and gorgeous spot so I think we have our location for this Sunday first time I'm collaborating with other people like more I'm 
the one initiating it. So I'm a little nervous. I'm not the biggest fan of putting those things together, but I'm not gonna lie though, the times that I have put them together, it it, those collaborations, they've actually turned out beautifully. The work of putting that thing together is kind of a pain in the butt. It's something I'm not really interested in doing, but I do know the results that come out of collaborations that are planned out well. So pretty excited for this one.